churches and churchyards in England and Wales <laughs> by Richard Heyman. I did not read the second line. So you are getting different aspects of the grounds and churches themselves of certain churches across England and Wales, obviously. <coughs> Sorry, you are getting um, information and photographs of like the yard itself, um, the exterior and interior of the church furnishings and like what makes up the different areas of the, the church itself. So I think you do get some really interesting photographs. Um, you do get some history of the churches. There's a lot of somewhat brief, but you are getting a lot of information kind of like thrown you, thrown at you about different things. And to me, they're not totally in depth, but if you wanna know like likely more about a certain church or area, you could likely dig deeper or further elsewhere, but you are getting introduced to um, a few different types of churches and their grounds in this book. So to me, it's a great jump off point, um, jump off book. Many points are given to the readers. So like different like structures, structures, crosses, um, sundials, um, you get like floor plans as well, like figures, figures and archways, um, furn furnishings of the church, so tiers of intersecting arches and like interlocking rings of the front south Coxton. Leicester are, typ are typical of Norman abstract decoration. Um, you are getting further reading. So like books, um, a few online resources, and it does give um, a selective list of um, places to visit in both England and in Wales. So, um, it can be be helpful in that point if you do want to go visit some. So, yeah, churches and churchyards of England and Wales. Happy readings.